Hi guys and welcome to another Sunday slot. This week we're going to be thinking a little bit about our neighbour. Now I wonder if you could do something for me. So this is our first activity so you might need a pen and a piece of paper. And I want you to draw a mind map of all the ways that people can be different from one another. Um, so I've got a little example for you just to help you out and you might um, want to use some of these or you might want to use your own. Um, so I've just done a few um, of ways people are different. So ways that people are different to one another. Um, they might wear glasses, they might not. Um, their hair colour might be different. Their eye colour might be different. They might uh, speak a different language. Um, people also have different types of families um, and they might go to different schools. So that's just um, a little example. So I wonder if you could stop the video for me and write um, and draw, if you wanted to, ways that people are different to one another. Now, it's really amazing to see that there are lots of different ways where people can be different from one another. So that makes everyone different. And a word we sometimes use for that is called unique. Even though we are all unique, so we are all different, we're also all the same because we're also all humans. This got me thinking a little bit about when I've been the person who has been different. And then I was thinking about all the different countries that I'd been to. I've been really lucky to have lived in different parts of the world, but have still been welcomed, even though I have been different. This is a picture of when I lived in China. This is a picture of when I lived in Italy. When I lived in these places, sometimes I felt that I was really different to the people that already lived there. But I was made to feel very welcome and that I was one of them. I wonder if you've ever been anywhere where you've been the person who's different. Or maybe you've been in a situation where you feel like you're different. Now, it's really interesting because the Bible has lots to say about things or about people who are different. And it even tells us how we should treat people who are different. It also says lots about our neighbour. Now, I know sometimes we think that our neighbour is just someone who maybe lives next door to us. But I think it's a bit more than that. I think everyone can be our neighbour. In a book, in the book, in Leviticus, in the Bible, God says to us not to mistreat people who are different to us, but to treat them as if they are not different at all. We should love them as we love ourselves, because at some point we've all been different in one way or another. God made us all different. We all think different. We all look different, we all speak different, and we certainly all act different. But it's important to treat everyone with kindness and respect, and that God cares for everyone the same. So he wants our actions to reflect that. God shows no favoritism. He doesn't say, I love you more because you have this color hair or I love you more because you come from here and not there. God loves everyone equally. Now, to help us think a little about what we've heard, I've got an activity for us. So, what you'll need are bits of coloured paper, some scissors and some form of glue. So you're going to cut out different shapes and they can be square or they could be circle ish, circle ish. They can be uh, triangles. 
and I want you to cut out different shapes and different sizes. And what we're going to do, we're going to put some of these different shapes and different sizes and different colours to make lots of different houses to remind us that everyone is our neighbour and that we were all different but all equal and valued. So we can choose a part of the paper that we've cut out, we can stick another bit of paper that we've cut out on we might want to put a might want to put a door on or a window maybe it's up to you um, and we can do as many of these as we like we can make our own community of lots of different houses and lots of different sh shapes to remind us like I said that we are all different but that we are all valued and equal in the eyes of God. So we hope that you have a, a happy Sunday and we hope you have a great time making your little community and thinking about how uh, we can love our neighbour and how we can show respect to those who are different to us. So. We look forward to seeing you next week and we hope you have a very happy Sunday and a fabulous week. Bye guys.